were the four seed. The fifth seed, East Coast Jeff and Zio. Really? And they went down. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. 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 Okay. So, so, you know, you know uh, East Coast Jeff was the Arcadian doubles champion. So. The Arcadian doubles champion with Captain Face Roll. So That's I right. assume Face Roll cheated and used inside information there. Oh, not at all. Mm -hmm. He just outplayed him heavily. Oh, okay. Won't kill him yet. And that's the thing about doubles. You just throw a needle, Puff's back. That's true. Uh, I actually really like Puff Sheik as a team. They have some definite flaws that make it worse than, like, I don't know, Puff Fox or some other stuff. But uh, Or, like, uh, I don't know, like Peach Sheik. Or I don't know, whatever. Yeah. P uh, they have flaws, but it's, it's a really fun team to play, I think. Oh, yeah. So and right now, Reno, in my case, starting out double Fox. We've seen some trolley teams in the uh, earlier parts of the bracket. Yeah, you know, I... I really don't think they should go double Fox. I actually think uh, Fox Cheek would be by far their best team. Oh, yeah? Yes. Um, just because, okay, in doubles, sometimes having two of the same, like, double Fox is a great team, uh -huh. but sometimes having two of the same character is like, you don't have to adjust your play style at all. It's just always, these are the ranges that I'm good at, these are the moves I can use, this is how I combo. So almost and, uh, a little bit more like singles versus just a Fox, you're saying? Kind of, you know? Like, but, yeah. but for example, the Foxes, they have to adjust heavily between Sheik and, and, Puff, and Puff. Like, it's like really weird playing against Puff and teams, and then you gotta deal with the Sheik, and it's all different, the spacing and the timing. and So, uh... That is super weird. Yeah. But like, the way I think about it, I guess, from a very simplistic view... And you're dead. Okay. Well, they're actually... They're actually kind of getting worked by the Arcadians. A little bit. Yeah. Oh, these are the Arcadian champs, dude. The Arcadian... It's like, you know if the Summit was, like, all Arcadians? Mm -hmm. They'd have the couch, and these would be the two Arcadian champs, and then... Mm -hmm. They'd be you watching. Know, Mango or Cameron or something. They'd be like, oh, Arcadian champs out. I think Cam is Mango. I think Face Roll is like, yeah, what, is he, what is he like, PP? Uh, yeah, he's like a PP. Yeah, he's a little more like a PP. Oh, I was kidding. Missing these. Cameron, first of all, is wearing the Overwatch tag. Oh, uh, that's what that is. Second of all, he is missing every rest, dude. What is he doing? And third of all, there's still somehow three stocks up. But, but the thing, it's okay because uh, Cameron's like one of the, for his skill level, he's one of the worst wrestlers of all time. <laughs> so when he does get the rest, it's pretty much GG. Like, they actually just won already if he gets any rest. That's why the mango, please don't miss this. See, he didn't even go for it. Yeah, he's he just even, like, whatever. He's like, whatever, I can't do it right now. All right, well, how is he going to handle the 2v1? By getting hit. Floating in the air, Griffin's coming back. Dude, Puff's so good in teams, Puff's actually. Puff's so he's, good. She's very difficult to deal with. Puff is so broken. Puff's so broken. And Puff has a move, uh, for everyone who doesn't know, that can kill you in one hit. Were you making a Scar reference there? No. Oh, okay. Scar is the best commentator. Oh, because he is like, Puff, no, no, Puff's yeah, so yeah, broken. Yeah, 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 yeah. I love Scar, though. Yeah, Scar's great. Oh, God, what just happened? Dude, they're getting wrecked. <laughs> what is going on? Dude, they're getting so yeah, wrecked. And Mike's just like, all right, I'm going to enjoy my I juice. Y you know what the thing is? Uh, Mike and Face Roll played at, a, at a JJ's. Yeah. And Mike, like, threw the first set by, like, not even going. He went, like, Marth and Falcon and whatever. And then he, like, 3 0 him in losers, I think. Or maybe 3 1. But he beat him really solidly in losers. So he's probably like, whatever, I'll just try next game. He's saying neither of these players are really on my singles level. I should just be able to clean this up. Yeah, I mean, that sounds, OK, if you're not like really uh, comfortable with the scene, it may sound like, well, why would you ever sandbag? Why, why wouldn't you just do your best all the time? Mm -hmm. But this game requires so much like intense focus and thought that sometimes like you just don't have it all there. And then if you start bad, it's like hard to come back. And I don't know. It's like you're wasting a lot of energy on, you know, it's like uh, like tennis players will kind of tank sets when mm -hmm. they need to recover some energy. That yeah, kind of I can see that for sure. That makes, that's definitely like that. Uh, but there's there's pretty much no way he's going to get this. I don't know why he would throw it. You could just hold him. Exactly. Dude, grab combos are so good in teams. Just, they are just, a beautiful, just hold them, man. beautiful thing. They are. So this, oh, okay, that's not going to kill yet. Yeah, they're, they're picking the worst moves of all time, but they're probably just, maybe they're trying to swag a little, I don't know. Dude. Yeah, they're just like, we'll do whatever, we'll win. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Four of attrition, eventually they'll, they'll get the stock. Wow, and uh, second midget and face roll take game one. I would Re not expect that. Reno and Mike Hayes in I'll the tank. Honest. Yeah, that was actually really solid. I could see them doing it, but I would have I would assume that Reno and Mike Hayes have like a 60-40 advantage. Yeah. I mean, so what I've seen out of Psycho Midget in the past in teams, uh, once he starts resting, things get crazy. And he hit a grand total of, of zero? Yeah, he hit zero. He hit zero. About zero. Yeah. Uh, I have hit, seen him hit like literally like eight rests in teams before. Oh, my. But that was not one of those games. <laughs> not one of those games at all. He is currently 0 for. Let's see if he can improve it. We're going to Stadium. The stage where both of these characters do not like to fight Fox. Yeah. It doesn't um, change much in teams. I, yeah, I mean, both the characters suck against Fox in singles. But in teams, it's a lot easier to just take advantage of the fact that he dies. I so. see, I see. I like how when one of them's getting grabbed by Cam, at least like 70% of the time, the other one's either hitting them or disrupting. You know, uh, both of them, especially Reno, is very aware in teams. 
So, oh, yeah. yeah, Reno's always helping. I don't know which one's which, actually. It's a great question. I also don't know what Turk and Shin are. Do oh, wait, was, was... I don't know, actually. Was Turk the one who was doing the 2v1 at the end? I don't remember. Because then that was Reno. I honestly have no idea. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. Difficult to tell. Yeah. We'll figure it out after this. Yeah. As soon as someone dies... Oh. That... That was really good coverage. Oh, that was yeah. good coverage. Still kind of somewhat even. Yeah. Would have been a lot different if that edge guard had finished. Right. Also, uh, I mean, this was a long time ago, but Cameron and I played uh, Reno, Mike Hazen teams. And for some reason, I don't know why, our best stage was Stadium. We oh, beat wow. them like four times on Stadium. It doesn't make sense. But we like lost to them on like Dreamland and stuff. So. That's it's interesting. The thing about uh, Sheik, the Sheik Puff team comp is a lot of times, you know, when Puff gets hit away, it takes her a while to get back and stuff like that. Sheik will just have to like tank the 2v1 for a bit. And uh, 2v1 against two foxes is not that easy. So, so I, I call this about even, and Cam continues Cam dies again. the 0-4. That was actually a really big miss, too. Yeah. Griffin was nowhere near him, and Puff right. was a kill percent. Right, right, right. Okay, but I, I like the fact that he's still going for it. I don't want him to, like, wuss out and, like, not go for it, because he needs to go for it, you know? And Just Griffin's got to make sure he stays near him. Griffin with some really weird tech flubs. We saw Chain, we saw the rabbit jabs. Yeah. It's uh, probably a lot of pressure from the Foxes, I guess. What do you think? Oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, it, it, it's not easy to stay near Puff when you've got to deal with two power rank Foxes. Right. That, that's uh, You actually bring out a really good point for, for this team. A lot of floaty teams in general, you just want to really stay close to each other so you can save each other or combo off of each other. The Foxes are more free to run around because they can be anywhere. Um, they don't want to be too close because they might both get comboed, you know? So I stuff see. like that. Griffin's recovery. Pretty okay, nice. Griffin's recovery is not good. Like, it's so easy to edge guard, but everyone <laughs> messes it up. Like, it messes it up so many times. They mess it up so much that it validates him doing that recovery. He's like. Like, yeah, the Sheik has no lag, Woo! but she's literally hovering in the air for forever. Like, how do you not edge guard this? So you're saying is that Griffin is a lucker? He's a, oh, he's a total lucker. Oh, man. And he would say this himself. He, he would. We, actually, we he stole would, that from him. He would not only call himself a lucker. Actually, no, he'd call himself a legend. Yeah, I'm a legend, dude. Cam, oh, Cam, what are you please? No. Oh, he, <laughs> what was that? <laughs> did, did anyone else see that? This is not happening. But okay. right now, Red Team's so, got nice sleep. I, I understand the rest because it's like, oh, if I get it, we're back in the game. This and is it, awful right now for the blue team. <laughs> this is well, literally the worst. No, this could happen now. It could. If there's a quick rest. What? It, it could be some shenanigans. Oh, here comes the shenanigans. Okay. Well, now it's pretty hard. All right. But when he was, he was, uh, when he missed the rest. Yeah. Like they were, they looked like they were about to set up like the grandest Ocean's Eleven scheme of all time, dude. Like. And then just never and happened. Just a weak up smash was all they got. Dude. It's like instead they got drunk, went to the casino, and ended up in jail instantly. Yeah. <laughs> also, he should have rested that for sure. I don't know why he didn't rest there. Because he wouldn't have died. And yeah, then it would have been one v one. He's got another rest chance. It's still hard, but I would have taken it. It's oh. harder to beat them without resting. You know. Agreed. Because it's, it's going to be hard for Puff to straight up 2v1. All the Puffs I know would just go to the ledge right now. Oh. Okay, never mind. That's not going to go. Nice reaction by Cam. You're not putting yourself in a position where you can get tech chase. Uh-huh. You know, hard to tech chase there. Terrible. Actually, but. yeah, you're right. Because normally it's scary to DI off the ledge because you might get spiked. But uh, but I guess you can just Puff, keep... you can just jump. So you can just smash jump as Puff. Mm -hmm. Stay away to the Cam other side. Cameron somehow got five kills. Amazing. It might just be edge guarding stuff. But yeah. yeah. He got one in that little scramble when he had uh, Fox in the corner. Right. I don't uh, know where the other four came but, from. But they can no longer go to Stadium. So now this team's now Psycho Midget and, Fal and Face Roll are good. That's true. They can't ever go back here again. Do you yeah. think? Yeah, but the interesting thing about it is that Reno can go Sheik. So there are Fox Sheik counter picks and there are double Fox counter picks. Right. Oh, he got one. That's one. All right. He didn't even kill. That's not, so sad. did not. Actually, but this is not going to kill. At You're least right. he's in there. He, he, he's on the scoreboard. On the board. He's like one in, I don't know, how many? 17. Seven, eight. 17. Eight. So 17's a little high. 32. <laughs> 38. All right. Oh, that was a really good up smash. Can Griffin die? Let's see. He's 100% dead. Oh! Okay. Cam is a god. All right, that's it. Second like mention. This is the best player in the world. Yeah, yeah. He's also, yeah. He definitely is, dude. He's also making Overwatch not look so hot right now. Yeah, he is looking <laughs> more like Al. Just getting punched in the face. <laughs> and after that, Griffin gets a kill. Such yeah. a big play. Oh, oh, nice. Good. Oh, what? Okay. Grab the ledge. 
And Griffin is dead. There's no edge guarding in Overwatch, man. Yeah. He forgot what to do. <laughs> He's like, wait, oh, okay, Kama now. Okay. That actually 11. just looked hard to do. I'm surprised he even went for that. Not but, really but yeah, sure. yeah, one for what, like 13? 4,000. 4,000 yeah. at this point, approximately. He's, that one you can't hit. Give or take a couple thousand. Yeah, I would say. It's at least about one or 2,000. <laughs> one or two, at least. <laughs> okay, and this is, once again, pretty even. Not anymore. Yeah. Um, I don't know. What's I don't the know what they need to do. They just need to, Cameron just needs to kill people. There yeah, that's one. All right, we're up to two. Uh, the Shin Fox could have like forward air or drilled there to save. But he's not Cameron, so he's not a legend. Or you could Did do the Oh no! Something oh. bad's gonna happen. That was actually almost a really good recovery from them, because uh, Cameron would have covered both of them, but then they wall tech, like they hit each other and wall tech instead. That was actually, I don't know if they did that on purpose, but that was a really good recovery. Sometimes you just gotta believe in the heart of the cards. Yeah. You go for this kind of thing. You know, Griffin believes. Griffin does Cam believe. Cameron doesn't really believe. Cam is Cam's just a puff machine of death. Yeah. He's right. just a puff who's good at teams. Can't rest. Can't rest. Pretty Somehow, legit. good at teams. Arcadian champ. Arcadian champ. <laughs> Can't rest. Never learned that one. Yeah. Oh, man. That Peligro set? That was insane, right? Oh, my God. It was uh, like 40 minutes. I don't think I've ever been excited for a puff first peach set since Mango vs. Armada. I think that was the second most exciting puff peach set I've ever seen. I've never been that excited in a peach puff set that repeatedly kept going to timeout. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Unbelievable. Oh, man. Okay. Well, pretty even game right now, I've got to say. Oh, oh. Cam! No. Oh, no! Is he dead? No, he's alive. He is. Griffin's playing like a legend, though. Yeah, Griffin is playing like a total legend. He is playing legend. like a legend. All right, I'll give, I'll give Griffin his props. This is going in the Giphy Cats that Griffin keeps sending to me. He keeps sending you Giphy Cats? He does, sends does he make his own Giphy Cats and send oh, them to you? Oh, he does. He's like, Ooh. oh, that, that was, was big. Was, I'd send him Giphy Cat the other way. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. My, I think my favorite part about Griffin being from the Midwest, Captain Base Roll, is that he'll send me his Giphys. Uh -huh. And then in the Giphys, he's like apologizing to his opponent. He's what like, do you mean? He's like, I'm sorry I comedy you, man. That was ridiculous. That wasn't fair. Three rests. Does not kill. Good DI. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Okay, is that for, comboed? Going I for gold. Cameron's playing a lot better, too. Oh, yeah. They're getting the groove back a little bit. This is entirely blue team. Nice. Dude, Griffin is playing so good, dude. They're both I think, I think nice. if a uh, blue team just gets Ooh. some edge guards, yeah. They just need a couple edge guards. Oh, Griffin's needles? Cool. That was jank, but I'll, you know, they'll take it. Okay, but now they can't go to Dreamland anymore. That's fine. Mm -hmm. They're fine on the other stages. Oh, uh, that's uh, right. Yoshi's is not as bad as people think. Because it is very possible for like Fox to just gimp them all the time, mm. or to get gimps. Are we gonna have an Irvine Finals? Oh, that is my dream. Oh that man, is my absolute dream. This does not bode well for the other teams in the melee games. No. Well, I, I fully expect to see McCain and Tafo back, but uh, expect to see them at least in losers finals. Um, well, ooh. semis. They're they're gonna beat Reno and Mike Hayes in semis. Then they'll have to beat you know second mid and face roll after we beat them. After you guys destroy them. Yeah. To even murder them. <laughs> yeah, it's not even gonna be close. They have no chance. I like as some of the Irvine players get better, the other Irvine players support them and train them a lot, but also trash talk them. Oh. Like Connor's great tweet about face roll. How I feel when I play Captain Face Roll, and it's uh, it says, "Do your part, take out the trash." <laughs> yeah, you know. Even Santi, who's probably the best in Irvine right now, mm -hmm. even he gets trash talk, so. He does. There's no escaping it. I feel like Irvine taught Santi how to trash talk. And then, can we talk about why you guys play Smash 4? Oh, uh, that's all Santi. <laughs> what? It's his fault? It's actually, no, Santi loves Smash 4. Oh my god. Um, he, he like, we'll play Melee, he won't say a word the entire time. Mm -hmm. And then we'll play Smash 4, and he's like yelling and screaming, he's like, he plays Shulk, you know? He keeps so talking to me about his Monado. Yeah, dude. He'll like charge a smash and like, that's the power of the Monado. <laughs> Please, no, son. <laughs> like, uh, okay, so obviously they pick Yoshi's because, you know, Puff dies fast. Puff stayed alive right now. Everyone kills fa dies fast against Fox here. Super dead. All right. Griffin with some sick rolls, roll, roll, spot, dot, spot, dot. That was, uh, Dreffin. that's Griffin. Yeah, Griffin, right? Learning from the Midwest. Good job, Griffin. Dude, Griffin's a legend, too. Unbelievable. He was like my chic hero when I first started playing. He, uh, he still does some work, for sure. He's still pretty good. I, he, like, three-stock dice game one or something like that. Really? When they played. It Did was he beat ice, or? No, he, he Ooh, lost. Nice edge guard. That was a really good edge guard. Nice. That's done. a hard back air to get. It really is. Still very even game right here. Reno and Mike staying Fox in the pivotal game. Yeah. 
They're playing nice I, right now. I don't now. know what that is. Well, I know Reno hates Sheik Dodos, but I don't know. I guess, yeah, Fox Peach too. Or Fox Puff. I think they're trying to kill Cam, like, instant. They're trying to get him out of here. Dude, I, I think that's the that's not the right way to go. You got to focus on the Sheik mm -hmm. and just zone the Puff. Like, if you zone the Puff correctly, she just can't get in. When she gets hit, it takes her, like, three seconds to get back to the stage. You just double-team the Puff Sheik, and then she can't do anything. That's that's the correct way to play against this. Ooh, well, what? How did he... What? Oh, okay. That was actually an okay trade, but... Uh, Griffin, dude. Griffin just... Ooh, wow. You see how they're both together there? Yeah. That sucks way more for Double Fox than it does for, like, Sheik Puff, you know? I see. So, I guess that's that's actually kind of a big deal. It's kind of on the Foxes to play well, because if they're not, like, you know, you can just cheese them. You can crowd cancel down, smash them as, as uh, Sheik. You know, you can, like, throw them oh. off the ledge. Oh, what happened? I don't know. Game four here. If, uh, if Psycho Midget and Face Roll win, that's the set. That is. Dude, these are going to be some crazy grand finals. Oh, yeah. I'm pretty sure R Reno and Mike Hayes were second seed, and then, of course, McCain's going to be first seed with uh, Tafo. Reno and Mike were first seed. Really? Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, interesting. I mean, it's fine. It doesn't really matter who's first or second, honestly. But interesting philosophy of, of seeding that occurred. Yeah. Okay. And Reno escapes. You know, the thing is, like, as close as it is, I still feel like if the blue team just sometimes just grabbed the ledge or just, bet, like, did a simple edge guard, I feel like they would win really hard. It was really interesting. I thought Mike was dead there as soon as he went up. Uh -huh. They're going to have to get this Whoa. team edge guard. Gets lit on fire they twice. Got it, got it. 2v1. That's it. But high percent. This is the classic 2v1, dude. Okay. Who is it? Do you, you know who it is? Yeah, it's um, it's Reno. It's Reno? Okay. I believe it's Reno just based on it. Oh, it could see. definitely, like, this is this is almost even. I would say call this even. Ooh, this is bad. He took a lot of damage. One grab, it's a rest. Oh. One grab from Sheik. That's okay, a dead right. puff. Griffin has to be a legend oh, here. And he's no! the opposite. The biggest buster to ever bust. Oh, that was, that was interesting. Oh, wow. Well, that's how you know at least uh, there's a lot on the line. There's pressure. Oh, yeah. I've never seen face roll this that. Yeah, that was, uh, that's a flip of a lifetime. Oh, man. Oh, man. But they were down. That would have been an amazing comeback if Griffin had managed to pull it. Mm -hmm. I, I, you know, okay. So Reno missed the tech on the left side of the stage. Cameron should run forward shield. And then if he rolls back, then face roll should cover it. But they didn't do that. And then when uh, Cameron got like an up air, or like an up throw or something, uh -huh. uh, Griffin went for a slap. But he should have waited for the tech and then covered his three options and let like Cameron cover the last one. And I think if they hit those two things, the, the game would have been over. Amazing. Okay, so we go to Battlefield. Thoughts about this, or is this just kind of the, a consequence of there not being that many stages left? But this is where I think Puff and Sheik would go anyway, so it's like kind of fine. Oh yeah, it's a good stage for them. Sheiks. So why does Sheik like Battlefield so much? It's because all those stages suck. Yeah. <laughs> so like Yoshi, she dies fast. Okay. Um, Dreamland can be good, but if they're really like, if they're really campy, if they're really good at running away, which Fox can do really well. Then, running uh, away is fun. Oh man. Not that good, was super unfortunate. Not a good start. Then it's tough. Stadium's obviously bad. FD's obviously bad. So what do you have left? You got like Founder Dreams, which isn't allowed in doubles. And then you got this stage. And Poker Floats. You got Poker Floats. You do have Poker Floats. But nobody lets you go there because yeah. it is illegal. Okay, Griffin held the ledge. He got the edge guard I was talking about. SSM, SSM tutorials. Yeah. <laughs> How do you hold the ledge? It's very tough. Oh, actually gets a save. Cameron, this is a no, no kill. Cameron, you suck. Cameron, you oh, suck, dude. Oh, God. Oh, oh God. what? Oh, well, this double team, though. No. Oh, Cam, are you going to nice. go this deep? Nice. Yes, he is. Okay, well, just a couple good edge guards. They run it back. Okay, if Puff gets comboed really quick and dies, uh, we have a super different game. If Puff Think stays around, they probably win. Right. Um. Oh. I think both the Foxes are catching on to Griffin, too. Yeah. The thing. Like, he was doing really well game two. But. Exploitation. And now, uh, now Reno and Mike have a nice lead. Not super, super solid. Okay, good. Now they're... Okay. That's a good choice anyway. They had zoned out Puff, and then Griffin was still recovering. Sheik was uh, still going for it. There's so much like potential like for the Foxes to just die, but they always escape. It's, amazing. it's, it's such a tightrope of, of danger for Double Fox sometimes. But yeah, Reno and Mike, I think they're adapting. Uh, I can't exactly pinpoint it, but they look like they're way more comfortable playing against both of them now. That was very crucial to hit. Yeah. If if Psycho Midget can make something out of the stock, that would be so important. Right. It's really tough because they're always down by like, not by stocks. I mean, now they're down by stocks, but a lot of times they're down by just like percent. Like one of them's at 80 and the rest of the stocks are even. 
and that just that makes it tough. Okay, this is kind of cosmetically even, but not really. Puff gonna die a lot faster than Fox. Uh huh. Oh, wow. Just the thing is, Fox situations. has a lot less time to set up, to get his setups on Puff. Uh -huh. So it's kind of like Puff will just live, even, you know. Oh, th that's that? why my philosophy is a. Uh, oh, nice edge guard. Camp's gotta get it. Oh. oh, and he dies as a result. Super big swing there, but Griffin face roll does pick it up. Dude, they're ahead though. Uh, Griffin and face roll, or, or whatever, Cameron face roll. Beautiful use of invincibility by Psycho Ninja. He does get that edge guard. Griffin has to close this. Nice I fire save. stall. Oh. And uh, Captain Face Roll did have the opportunity to take the stock. He does I did. not quite get I, it. I thought he would get it, but he just needed a slab there. I think he just misjudged the Firefox hitting him or something like that. I think it's going to be a 2v1 at the end. You think so? Yeah. I think it's where it's standing. Oh my god. Yeah, it looks like um, it looks like Reno might die soon. Face Roll's got to go in the mix. Pretty much just 2v1 for a Cameron small has amount to stay of time. Stay alive. Yeah. Oh, oh my god. god what? Be... He's got both of them. Which one is he going to get? Oh, oh, bad angle. All right, it's so a 2v1. It's just Mike. It's just Mike Hayes now. Can Mike close this out? Mike is playing really good, though. He's looking explosive. He's but fast. But it takes is one opening for the team combo to happen. Mm -hmm. One grab from Sheik, it's over. Oh, that was scary. Perfect shorten. Mike's so good at that. A Phantom? Is nice that the cover. set? That's it. Four smash. Oh, and Team Irvine with a giant upset. Irvine, baby. Irvine. Cam gives, Cam gives face for a hug. That's right, baby. Mike Arino disappointed. And what a gr what I, a winner's finals. Dude, I'm going to say they could. Uh, Psycho Vision and Captain Facebook could do better 2v1s. They're not, like, you can cover every option or, like, almost every option. I commented my four times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. I'm going to get off soon because I have to play. So. All right. All so right. Uh, with uh, Kira, I'm Chroma. Thank you for joining us. Fantastic. We're going to have Hoka and I believe Sokka on stream. I actually don't know who's going to come on. Uh, thank you for joining us. More teams action coming up right yeah. now. Uh, Irvine Sheik does. doesn't. Fox doesn't. Oh, well, I guess Fox is cancel each other out regardless. And they have the up smash. And that's good enough. And you're uh, in part of your team game in this. Oh, come on. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> At least he covered that. Oh, and Mike on the other side just wow. screwing up the...